Greetings everyone and welcome to the new 26 Harmony Kingdom. I'm Nirvana Sparkle. Sports episodes have been in the series before, most notably Equestria games, and in the comics we saw the pony version of football. But this week's episode, Buckball Season, episode 136 proper, introduces us to the sport of buckball, which is a cross between basketball and soccer. The basketball has to do with the two hoops at each end, and the soccer has to do with the fact that ponies have to use their feet. It's quite interesting how they manage to pull this off, and quite fun too. You can obviously tell it was an animator's field day. And they do a great job at expressing what the sport is and how it easily works. Works, plus they have some real fun with Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie, who are enlisted listed into the Ponyville Buckball team to help Rainbow Dash and Applejack beat Appaloosa's team run by Braeburn. But, uh, but as luck would have it, these two are the most aggressive coaches ever. And as the pressure mounts, the fun drops. As the pressure to win, win gets to our two new buckball players pretty darn quickly. And yes, Snails is included as well. And it's a nice addition for snails, and it allows other sub ponies to join in in the recruitment montage as well. This is the most that snails has really done, and the first time he's done anything really solo in the series. So it's a nice add on. But. But when Rainbow Dash and Applejack learn that sometimes it's okay to take the pressure off and for it to be fun, after all, everything competitive should be fun. Everything of everything goes just as well for the Ponyville team as they pick up the victory. Victory. And Everybody learns about the fun of sports. Now, me being a former Olympian, I know about the spirit of fun and competition. For me, my fun and competition comes now through online video games. This is a lesson that is sorely lost upon the youth of today. Especially when it comes to online gaming. People have suddenly forgotten, especially with the bigger games like Halo and Call of Duty, that it's not about kill death ratios and how many times you win. It matters if you're having fun against the competition and with your own team. Sports or anything competitive are not life and death. Well, try telling that to international soccer fan. But for the most part, it is not life and death. And sometimes this whole notion of it's supposed to be fun is often lost on the competitive youth. Whenever you're doing something, no matter what competition it is, Sports, esports, anything. Remember, the whole entire point is to enjoy what you're doing. And sometimes, yes, nobody likes losing. Lord, Lord knows, I don't give in my problems with online games. But the whole idea is me getting together with my friends or competing against a friend. And having general fun doing it. I don't care about the result. 
Not at all. Really, I don't. I care whether people are having a good time. And that's what this episode's moral... Moral... Moral expresses. In other words, like snails, don't think about it too much. Thinking about the pressure of winning might prevent you from winning. Putting undue pressure on yourself when you're not good at handling pressure, whether it be something competitive or whether it be following, following a schedule for making YouTube videos, for example. Putting undue pressure on yourself self and worrying about failing to live up to that pressure can sometimes take the fun and enjoyment enjoyment out of whatever you're doing. So, my lesson to all of you is relax quite a bit. Yes, normally I would complain about Applejack and Rainbow Dash's competitive natures, but we've seen these competitive natures before among the two of them. Remember fall weather friends, every pony? Those two were competitive to the point that they sabotaged themselves. So the fact that they were overly aggressive want to win football coaches. Coaches much like a Bill Parcells or Bobby Knight actually make sense for the two of them. It plays perfectly in their character. And thank God Applejack was given something to do. There is a pony god. God. And, by the way, Rainbow Dash, you're asking Fluttershy to run an obstacle course when she could barely generate enough speed for a tornado. Just checking memory facts here. You knew how that was going to end up, right? But all in all, this episode does what it needs to do. It adds to the lore, it introduces a fun new sport, which I'm sure in my efforts for more episodes of Pony Scrolls, there will be fan fiction ideas abound around the new sport, which is well explained and properly showcased. Rainbow Dash and Applejack, albeit jerks for their aggressive coaching, however, play their roles most perfectly. The lesson about competition and fun is definitely needed in this online atmosphere and is expressed well. But also, it's a showcase for snails and other sub pony characters that get in on the fun. Fun animations, fun topic, fun sport, just fun. And if you're not thinking of the episode this way, you've already missed the moral point of it. I'm giving this one, although people might disagree, the perfect score of a 6 out of 6. This is a fun episode around a fun topic that is executed with fun animations and a strong lesson about competition and the importance to have said fun. So, if you're looking for 22 minutes of, well, fun... Have yourself this one. I know I did. So until next week, everyone, I am Nirvana Sparkle. Find peace in your own Nirvana, and thanks for watching the new 26.